Yesterday, I was able to get my hands on a gallon of raw milk and I need to figure out what I want to do with it because I'm very, very excited. I purchased two of these half gallon jars. I'm thinking I might make butter with one of them, even though we don't need any butter. I just, I want to know how to do it well. Um, I've, I've made a couple um, butter, you know, you put them in a, in a quart size jar and just shake it for a really long time. And then you just don't know what to do with it because you're like, wow, I have butter and it's cool. That's about all I've done. So I'm gonna start off by putting this in the stand mixer. I was looking on the KitchenAid website and they say you can absolutely whisk it for about 10 minutes. And then once you rinse your butter and all that, it takes a total of 30 minutes. So I figure I'll give it a try that way. One of the main things that I'm thinking as this gentleman texts me and said he had um, gotten too much milk and um, he miscounted how many he was supposed to sell so he, he knew that I would be interested. Um, but one of the main things in the back of my mind is I really, really, really want to have a dairy animal. Um, I don't believe that I could get uh, my family to get on board with sheep's milk or goat's milk. Goat's milk especially not. And also, we're not fans of goats. The smell of them and just past experiences, we don't want goats. So, I think it's a cow. Now, don't, don't get excited. I'm not anywhere close to even getting excited myself for getting a dairy cow but it is in the back of the mind. It's in the back of my mind. It's in Scott's mind. And um, there's a lot of steps that need to go between here and there. But I figure if I can see if I know what to do with the milk once we do get a dairy cow, that would be better. So I'm gonna go ahead and try out a couple different things because I know that we're gonna have way more milk than we know what to do with down the road when that happens. So anyway, let's make some butter. So in theory, if I were to just do this for about half an hour, I would have butter, right? Pretty certain. But I'm not about that right now. I've got other ways I want to, to do it. Got other things I want to be doing. Ooh. Literally just going to pour this into here. and whisk it. Before we get too far with that, because it's too loud, I won't be able to talk with you guys. I boiled two dozen eggs last night and I'm going to pickle them. I had mentioned in my previous vlog that I have way too many eggs and a viewer suggested that I pickle some eggs. So that's what I'm gonna do while this is going. been like 20 minutes and nothing's happening there's no separation at all so I'm thinking perhaps my mixer just can't go to a high enough speed without it splashing out everywhere it's kind of what I'm thinking so I'm gonna switch to the food processor and see what happens uh, maybe I'm just being impatient but the website said 10 minutes. Wow. Oh no. So which one is the milk? The full one there in the front. What's that behind it? Is that the cargo starter? Yeah. Uh, coloration, I'm assuming the cream separation. Should I shake it up a bit? Yeah. That's not working very well. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. But I did decide between the food processor, the mixer, and myself that it probably uh, isn't doing me any favors to have it 
more towards room temperature. So I decided to just package it all up, put it in the fridge. I'm going to let it cool down completely and then I'm gonna try again. I figure to separate the fat, it's gotta be cold, right? So, fail so far, but I'm not giving up. Like I said, I'm not giving up. And while we're waiting for a future butter to get cold, I'm gonna go ahead and make up a pickling brine for these eggs. Um, I left out the two that were kind of iffy, so, you know, kind of falling apart. So I just kept the ones that are intact, and I'm gonna put them in a jar, and I'm gonna pickle them and keep them in the fridge and snack on them and enjoy them, and they're gonna be delicious, hopefully. So let's make a brain real quick. Next phase complete. I've got the pickling brine. It has been simmering for about five minutes. Um, I've got our eggs peeled already, of course, ready to go. Um, 20, 22 eggs, I think, is in here. It's a half gallon jar. So I'm going to take our milk back out. I think that it's cold by now while we wait for our brine to cool down. I don't want to pour boiling hot brine on top of our eggs. So let's try again with that butter. I had the mixer back on for another 20 minutes at least. The butter is still ice maker. The butter is still not becoming butter. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna give up. I will make butter. Anyways, while I'm waiting, our brine has cooled down for our eggs, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour that in. I just turned off the mixer so that I could talk to you because I knew you wouldn't be able to hear me, but I'm gonna go ahead and just pour the brine over our eggs, and I'm gonna put a regular lid on it, stick it fridge and then I'm gonna try it probably it'll be a few weeks honestly I really like that flavor to get penetrate inside of the egg and they might actually turn out yellow because that's not all turmeric that's mustard seeds as well but there's a lot of turmeric in here two serrano peppers garlic no there's no garlic in here what was I thinking there's mustard seed, sugar, vinegar, water, turmeric, and salt. That's it. Um, I have no desire to try it. I guess I should, huh? Guess I should. Guess I should. Ugh. No. Yeah. Oh no. 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 Don't do that. Don't do that. That's disgusting. It will not be disgusting when it is an egg pickled in this. Oh no. No, no, no. Don't try this. Uh uh. No. I'm going to turn the mixer back on pour this over our eggs and then hopefully at some point we'll have butter. I am way too much brine. Like more than like a gigantic stupid amount of brine. So I need to figure out what else I can pickle. Carrots it is.
Well, I feel dumb. Very dumb. I did not separate the cream. This morning when I took it out, the top was the fatter, thick, thick part, and then the rest on the bottom, which would just be like regular milk. I didn't separate them. I put all of it in there. Oh, yeah. Silly, silly, silly me. Wow. Wow. Hey, learn from my mistakes, okay? Let's learn together. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge, let it separate once again. I mean, it's already cold now, so it shouldn't take that long. Um, maybe I'll be able to do it today, I hope so. Otherwise, I'll just try it again in the morning and just take that top part off. So, like, down to here was one color, and then below that was a lighter color. I know it's all white, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So anyway, I'm gonna try that uh, maybe later today. Just take the top part off and see if I can't make some butter out of that instead of pouring the whole thing in there. I don't know what I was thinking. I have done this before. Whether well, you you might not know that, but. <laughs> I think I'm supposed to get it cold. So I've got ice water here. This is precisely the reason why I wanted to <laughs> figure this stuff out before I get a cow. All that work for this much butter. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna rinse it all the way out until, ice maker. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse it out until all the buttermilk is gone under cold water. The water from my sink isn't cold enough. So I'm gonna keep the ice cubes and dump the water out, refresh the water. Now this water's pretty clear already. It's not even that cloudy. That's that. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna dry it off. If you guys are also thinking about getting a milk cow or any kind of dairy goat or a supply of dairy or anything of the sort, here is your official suggestion to try to figure this stuff out before you get in too deep. That's exactly what I'm doing right now. <laughs> At least we've got some butter. I'm gonna stick it in the fridge and we'll use it soon. So we're done with that adventure. I need to take these jars of the pickled carrots out of the canner. Welcome back to the number one reason you should do your research before you get a dairy animal. But in all seriousness, that is what the mission is for today, is to figure it out before we dive in too deep. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Hamakua Homestead. I'll see you again soon.